Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to the Talos Principle. We did the star zone here in Temple A last time, and now we're just going to go hit the tower. We still need to go do the stars in B and C, but I'm far more curious to see what awaits us in the tower. So we'll do that for a bit. There is one star hidden out here. Um, there's also a like a boarded up thing here, yeah. Okay, so we have a blue laser emitter there that was all boarded up. I broke that with the axe after we got the axe from Temple C. And then in here, I believe... Yeah, so here's the um, receptor, and there's a star. So that's one of the two final stars that I'm missing. I'm assuming and hoping that the last one is in the tower somewhere. I don't know. It could be. Um, I'm assuming that we're going to find some way to like get a puzzle piece, or not a puzzle piece, a connector or two out of the tower itself. I'm assuming that's going to happen. Because otherwise, I have no idea how we're supposed to get a laser connector out here. So, this is it. Tower time. I think we read all the things. I don't think I've, like, done a loop around here, though, so we'll, <clears throat> we'll just take a look here. So, Gibberish says, the voice keeps speaking to me. I can't get it out of my head. It's wrong. It's all wrong. Sam, Sarah, listen to me very carefully. I have climbed this tower, and no good has come of it. This world is the only world. Elohim's will continues eternal, and paradise is banishing all of this from your mind. All who say they've made it to the top are blatantly lying, or they would say what was there from Dog. Yeah, I'm, I am almost positive that I read all of those. So there's the laser thing that we need. Is there anything else around here? No, I wasn't really expecting anything to be, but you never know. All right. Oh, so there are a lot of floors. I'm assuming that we can't... Yeah, okay, so we can't go to the higher floors. Looks like they're going to be six total. We're on zero, so we can only go to one. That's the only one that's lit up. All right. Cannot detect location of primary subject. Query. <laughs> Query. Query. All right, Elohim has noticed that... He doesn't know where I'm at. Ooh, okay, cool. So there are going to be, like, audio logs and things up here. That's good to know. Oh, that's not good to know. We have more of those dumb puzzles. Is there anything that we associate more closely with intelligence than curiosity? Every intelligent species on Earth is attracted by the unknown. Our mythologies are full of riddles and mysteries and divine knowledge. Even the word apocalypse... Even the word apocalypse means revelation. It seems like our ancestors always imagined that even at the very end, we would solve one last mystery. How fitting that curiosity would be associated with this area. <laughs> the forbidden area that we've been told that we're not allowed to check out. So... It yanked four of the red sigils out of our just, like, stack of red sigils we had. We had 49 of them. So we do know now that these red sigils are all going to be tied to completing the tower. Look at that. First try. cell tower there. All right. Floor one. I have no idea what to expect here. Blue, there's one of the little uh, non-killer orbs, just like the laser blocker orbs. There is an emancipation grid here. I'm 
assuming this is where we'll come out after we complete the puzzle. Are we still going to be getting sigils in here? I'm kind of confused. I love, like, the industrial look of this place. I love the music. Oh, man, these have great atmospheres. Okay, what's around here, then? That other side was all locked off. Oh. So we totally can just get bits and bobs out of the puzzle here. I wonder if it'll be enough. Also, computer. Oh, so they're just protecting a computer now. Like a gold computer. A nice fancy one. Interesting. I have no idea what to expect from this point onwards. This is all new to me and is kind of terrifying, but in a good way. Okay, so we saw that there was a blue receptor down by the computer area. Yeah, they look kind of unfinished, but I love like the markings on the floor indicating things. So we're gonna have to get this through to there. Not gonna be enough time. No, we're gonna have to find some way of blocking that guy off. Okay, that's annoying. Oh, this is our path. Oh, we can't get in there. That's fascinating. Can we do one of these? No. Adds a minor wrinkle to things. I am now curious. Do we have to break out of bounds to do this? It's not like real out of bounds, but. Can we go, like, up and over? It does not appear that we can. I pretty strongly suspect that this is along the lines of what we need to be doing, going like up and over. to the edge here as we can. Not gonna be enough. No. Almost. Okay, so we just need to like not go through this hole here at all. That's what I'm seeing. I'm really digging the music. Any way that we can grab you? Oh, that's presumably going to unlock some way for us to go up, maybe? I'm perplexed.
Oh, that's kind of cool. up here. Does that help? Not help in any way. I don't think it does. I'm very confused by this puzzle. Can't, like, grab you over here or anything. I wonder if we could theoretically do that. That's always just going to be in the way. I'm very confused here. Tell you what, this is what we're going to do instead. We're just going to do this real quick. Nothing we can do about that thing. Hmm. Hmm. I am confused by this puzzle. We're going to ignore it for the time being. We'll go back down to Elohim land and see what he has to say. I love that our connector is still trying to connect to all those things up there. My child, have you been tempted by the tower? Know that it holds only death for you. To know Elohim. It's not gonna stop me. Not gonna stop me at all. Your eternal life is not all that it's cracked up to be. Grab that thing. I don't know if this is actually gonna work. I didn't mean to grab you, I meant to grab... Uh, maybe we want to go up here instead? I want to grab my... yeah, that guy. Is there any... No, I think it needs to be over here. Hmm. guy down here. We need to deal with this one. I feel like it needs to be up on the ledge or something. Yeah, it's shooting under the wall. We'll replace this one. It's not that big of a deal. Don't worry about it too much. Maybe it is that big of a deal. Interesting. Ha! Ha! Got it! I can jump the ledge, that's awesome. I didn't know if we'd be able to, because my jump kinda sucks. Oh, it's so good. 
So I believe we're only missing one final star, and I'm assuming it's going to be in the tower somewhere. Because I have no idea where else it might be. I'm wondering if the game is going to want us to carry these connectors all the way up with us through the rest of the tower. I don't even know if we're going to be able to do that. But it's an interesting thought. Well, you guys can you guys can be best friends. Just kind of hang out there. <sighs> I don't know how I'm going to solve this puzzle. And I don't like it. that we can't like put this up on the rail though that does make sense we can't do that yeah i don't know i don't know and it doesn't have any like crazy mechanics or anything it's just connectors one of those dumb orbs and a whole bunch of really well placed walls oh no. Probably should have paid attention to actually grabbing that thing. There's nothing clever we can do back in this corner. No. that pipe back there that we could put the thing up on, but that's way over to the left. Grrr. Can we manipulate you so that you're not getting clipped by the orb? I don't think we can. I'm gonna give it a shot though. Oh my gosh! It was. Oh no. It is still just barely getting clipped. Son of a gun. Put you up higher? This is irritating. This is a bit irritating. I'm not entirely sure what to do. Uh, I'm just going to play around with this until I find a solution. Back here, everybody. I figured it out. Uh, similar to, like, the dead man switch sort of puzzle, where you need to use a beam to get a door open and then pull the beam from inside the door to keep that door open. I think that was the general idea. 
Uh, we have to set up two beams so that the ball can block only at most one of them, and the other one will still be getting through. So that was actually not that difficult, but... Oh, coming up with that. All right, so we have like a magical... Okay, we just had to step into the box to open the thing. Like a magical gold terminal. It's one of the super cool ones with like blue neon lights, but they look a lot fancier on the outside too. Detecting auxiliary hardware. Found one external devices. Type device manager to control external devices. Ooh. So we got three things here. Plus the device manager, whatever the hell that will lead us to. So truth.html, Athena chapters.txt and human reproduction.txt. So we'll start with the truth. What is the truth? Do not believe what they are saying. This is not the end of the world created by our Lord. Good. God can't write his name. That's fine. Uh, this is not the end of the world created by our Lord God in six days. This is a conspiracy of the government Illuminati and international Darwinism. This is Global Warming 2.0, a lie told by the children of Beelzebub, parentheses, science. Do not let them take your liberty, Exodus 21, 24. Defend yourself against all vaccines, experiments, artificial medicines, and poppery? Huh. Seems a bit unlike the others. Bizarre. Athena Chapters. Ah, Athena Reborn, a novel. So this is the weird Athena story that then suddenly seemed like kind of weirdly like steampunky and stuff in the middle with mechanical creatures and stuff. And I was like, this is a cool story. Oh, this is not the original Athena story. Anyway, so we got all these different uh, chapters here. Theogony. Zeus Speaks, The Lost Children of His Hephaestus, Dreams of the Labyrinth, The Songs of Eris at Nightfall, Athena in the Garden of the Hesperides, The Buried City, The Riddles of the Sphinx, The Age of Faith, The Madness of Kos, Olympus Revealed in the Clouds, The Council of Zeus, Skepsis and Synthesis, the Judgment of Hephaestus, Zeus Reflects Upon Creation, A Second Awakening in the Kingdom of Artemis, and Anthropogeny? I don't know what most of those words mean. Um, human reproduction.txt. Surely if a machine is able to re... re blah. <clears throat> Surely if a machine is able to reproduce another machine systematically, we may say that it has a reproductive system. Is this maybe like now we're leading into another thing or just like a footnote? I don't know. I don't know what the archive bit is right there. And how few of the machines are there which have not been produced systematically by other machines? But it is man that makes them do so. Yes, but it is not... Yes, but is it not insects that make many of the plants reproductive. And would not a whole families uh, and would not whole families of plants die out if their fertilization was not affected by a class of agents utterly foreign to themselves? Each one of ourselves has sprung from minute animalcules? Sure. Okay, each one of ourselves has sprung from minute animalcules whose entity was entirely distinct from our own, and which acted after their kind with no thought or heed of what we might think about it. These little creatures are part of our own reproductive system, then why not we part of that of the machines? So viewing humans who create machines as part of the machine reproductive system, even if the machines aren't you know, creating the next generation of machines themselves. Kind of like how two humans create the next generation of a human. Huh. But the machines are reproducing because 
that's part of Elohim's whole weird thing, where he scrambled our parameters and kicked us back to the beginning. Uh, all right, device manager, what are you? Elevator CTR dot curve. Elevator controller driver. There we go. Um, show current operating parameters, floor access control, auxiliary stairway access control, and exit this utility. So we'll just roll through everything. So there is the main Nexus elevator. I'm assuming that's the one out where we started. Number floor is seven because it goes from zero to six. Software license. Great evaluation expired. Oh. Only one elevator shaft. Security level FAC. Authorization mode code. Okay, can we tweak the floors? So, uh, zero and one are unlocked. Everything else is locked. Three and up require a code, but we can unlock two. So I guess we're gonna unlock floor two. Cool, and then what's this about a stairway? The auxiliary stairway is in always open mode now. Please renew your license to enable auxiliary stairway locking. Okay. Hmm. Just checking the place out a little bit. So this is just going to lead us all the way back around to the beginning. What was said uh, auxiliary stairway? It was a dumb puzzle. Also, what's, what's that over there? I want to get over there. Well, regardless of everything, we're going to go up to floor two now. Is there anything back there? Nope, still not. Okay. All right. Floor two is way the hell up here. All sorts of new stuff awaits us, and I will see you next time. May the grace of the Twilight Dragon be with you.